Hello, sports fans. This is the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Dakari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker, your source for the sports betting industry 24-7. Sit back, relax, and listen as Mr. Bookmaker highlights what's happening right now in the world of sports. So, without further ado, here's your host, Art F. Dakari. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. I'm your host, Art of Takari. Really glad that you can join us. Before we get things rolling, get to our website as soon as you can. You know the address, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. We got the links to all the best European, Asian, and United States friendly bookmaker sites. And our bookmaker guide is available for you to download. So hurry up and download it because I want to help you become an expert at this entire online betting process. Before we get to our A to Z sports betting lingo, make sure you check out our blogs that are available. Hey, you know the World Series is going on right now. Patrick, of course, is on top of things with his American sports blog. And Dan, always on point with cricket. Also, don't forget to check out the Mr. Bookmaker football blog or soccer, depending on where you are in the world. We have plenty of info available for those of you who are crazy about UEFA Nations League. And remember, it's basically the new era of international football. All right, first thing is first, time for our A to Z sports betting lingo. What is our concept for today? It is sucker bet. All right, now, what is a sucker bet? Well, it is a bet with a large house edge, such as parlays, teasers, or exotics. And I must say there are some different terms, you know, different terminology involving the world of betting all over the world. So I'm just going to leave it at that. But don't forget, the concept is sucker bet. Okay, now to get things started off, I'm at William Hill. That's www.williamhill.com. Look for the hashtag, your odds, but of course, focus on the Premier League. And that, of course, is the EPL, the English Premier League. Let's take a look at the selections available. Not a whole lot compared to other weeks or, you know, right before the season, but there's still some to share. First one, Man United or Manchester United to finish above Arsenal for this season of the EPL. Well, right now we're looking at the table. Man United in 10th place with 14 points. Arsenal in 4th place with 21 points. A lot of time left in this season, so got to wait and see how it goes, but that is an intriguing one. So don't forget about that one. Next one also with 7-4 to four odds, Liverpool to be unbeaten at home for this season of English Premier League. Next one also with 7-4 to four odds, Arsenal to finish in the top four and Aubameyang to score over 19.5 Premier League goals. All right, good, looking good. 7-1 to one odds for Wolves to lose their next three Premier League games. They'll be playing against Brighton, Tottenham, and Arsenal. Some tough matchups there. Next one with 10 to 1 odds, Liverpool to win the English Premier League and Cardiff to stay up. Well, of course, I have nothing against Liverpool and I am a diehard Cardiff City supporter. So glad they finally got their first win for this edition of the English Premier League. But I like that one because I want Cardiff to stay up. 10 to 1 odds for Liverpool to win the league and Cardiff to stay up. Coming up, 12 to 1, Arsenal to finish in the top four. Aubameyang to be the top Premier League scorer and Arsenal to reach the quarterfinals of UEFA Europa League. So consider this one the Arsenal special, 12 to 1 odds. Last but not least, with 20 to 1 odds, Manchester City to score 10 plus goals in a competitive match during the 2018-2019 season. So that could be in the FA Cup, the League Cup, English Premier League, um, Of course, UEFA Champions League, possibly UEFA Europa League if things don't go so well for Manchester City. So don't forget that. 20 to 1 odds for Man City to score 10 plus goals in a competitive match. I would like to see that, but that's going to be tough. Just throwing my two cents out there. Okay, and before we continue, make sure you get to our website as soon as you can. You know the address, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. Remember, we got tips on how to register, bet, and withdraw. Our A to Z sports lingo is available. And of course, like I mentioned before, our bookmaker guide is available for you to download. So stop wasting time. Get to our website as soon as you can. 
download that bookmaker guide because it is there to help you. All right, moving on now. I am actually still at William Hill. You know the address, williamhill.com. That's www.williamhill.com. All right, getting a little repetitive, but let me move on now. Of course, with the NBA National Basketball Association season just beginning, who is favored to be the most valuable player? A lot of selections here, starting with Anthony Davis, 7 to 2 odds as the favorite. Then you got Giannis Antetokounmpo with 9 to 2 odds. LeBron James also with 9 to 2 odds. James Harden with 5 to 1. Kawhi Leonard 9 to 1. Kevin Durant 14 to 1. And also Kevin Durant's former teammate Russell Westbrook 14 to 1 odds. Stephen Curry 16 to 1 odds. You know, usually I would like to share just the top 5, but you know, a lot of good players in the NBA and if you feel like going with a long shot um, possibilities for you know certain players to be this season's MVP. The following players with 250 to 1 odds. Gordon Hayward, Kevin Love, Jason Tatum, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Paul George. So get to William Hill as soon as you can, especially if you're basketball crazy and if you want to place a wager on LeBron James to be this season's MVP. But I must say, I think that's going to be tough because, you know, I was not a big fan at all of LeBron going to the Lakers for certain reasons. But, you know, he's put himself in a tough situation. The West is tough. It's brutal. You know, his entire career, he was in the East, you know, with the Cavaliers. Then he took his towns to South Beach, then back to the Cavaliers. So he always had a free ticket, you know, pretty much the NBA Finals. No free ticket here. Will be exciting. Like I said, get to William Hill as soon as you can. Okay, for those of you who know me pretty well, I'm sure you have a sixth sense or a hunch you're probably wondering which website I'm going to next. Well, stop the wondering because I'm at Patty Power. That's www.pattypower.com. And yes, I'm in the mood for some more Trump special. So let's get right to it. Two to one odds for Donald Trump's approval rating to drop below 20% during his first term. What do you think? You know, is that going to happen? Well, I'm not here to make too many comments on this type of... Um, you know, on this type of field of bets, is that if that's what you want to call it. You know, I'm not really watching all kinds of political shows on a nightly basis. To be honest, I have not watched them in a long time, and I want to keep it that way. Let's continue now with some of these Donald Trump slash Kim Jong-un summit specials. How about Kim Jong-un to meet another G7 leader in 2018? Two to one odds for that. Kim Jong-un to visit the White House in 2018, five to two odds for that. Well, it is October, time is running out, we never know. Four to one odds for North and South Korea to unify as one country before the end of 2021. Wow, what a momentous occasion that would be. Donald Trump to visit North Korea in 2018, nine to one odds. Yeah, I'm not really expecting that. How about this one? 20 to one odds for North Korea to host the FIFA World Cup before the end of 2038. Wow. I mean, you'd have to imagine that a lot of things will have changed by then if that takes place. I mean, North Korea has only been the two World Cups, one in 1966 when they got to the quarterfinals and lost to Portugal. And also they made it in 2010 where they were actually throttled by Portugal, I believe seven to nothing. Okay, moving on now. How about who will be the next member of Donald Trump's administration to exit. Is it going to be Jeff Sessions? The odds here even for that. Let's see. Jared Kushner, 4 to 1 odds. Sarah Huckabee Sanders, 9 to 1 odds. Maybe Kellyanne Conway, 10 to 1 odds. John F. Kelly with 12 to 1. Or what about Ivanka Trump, 14 to 1 odds? Wow. What can I say? Patty Power has got them all lined up. Next one, involving the stock market. 11 to 1 odds for the New York Stock Exchange to fully suspend trading following Trump impeachment confirmation. Wow. Getting interesting. How about 500 to 1 odds for Donald Trump to buy Sports Direct in 2018? All right. Well, you know, he does like to get involved with a lot of business ventures. Next, 10 to 1 odds Trump to be filmed falling on a state visit in 2018. Well, I'm sure a lot of people will be waiting, you know, with their camera phones if they, you know, stumble on Patty Power. What about Trump to marry for a fourth time as president? 10 to 1 odds for that. Next, which leader will Elton John perform for first? If you think Donald Trump, 1 to 4 odds. If you want to choose Kim Jong-un, 
five to one odds. You know, gotta love these wagers. You know, I could I could already picture it. Elton John singing Crocodile Rock. You know, for Kim Jong Un in Pyongyang, that'd be a great show. And with that, this show of the Bookmaker Podcast is now done. Thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate the support. Like I said before, check out our blogs. Patrick is working overtime with his American sports blog, especially that the World Series is going on. Dan knows his cricket. And of course, check out the Mr. Bookmaker football blog or soccer, depending on where you are in the world. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you next time on the Bookmaker Podcast. This has been the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Takari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker. Thanks for listening. If you haven't already, please show some love by subscribing to this podcast on iTunes or Stitcher. Till next time, this is Mr. Bookmaker over and out.